यस प्लीज स्टार्ट ओके थैंक यू नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून मैं डॉक्टर भुवनेश्वर पांडे आप सभी लोगों का डाबर के इस हेलो सॉरी आई लॉस्ट माय नेटवर्क प्लीज स्टार्ट सर प्लीज स्टार्ट यस गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्कार मैं डॉक्टर भुवनेश्वर पांडे आप सभी लोगों का इस सितंबर माह के रस संवाद में आप सभी लोगों का स्वागत करना चाहता हूं। आप सभी लोगों को अवगत है कि हमारा प्रयास है कि हम वैद्य गणों तक डाबर की रस औषधियों या अन्य रस औषधियों की जानकारी के बारे में अपना ज्ञान साझा करें तो हम प्रति माह रस संवाद का डिजिटल फॉर्म पे एक वेबिनार का आयोजन करते आ रहे हैं तो उसी श्रृंखला में हम आज के वेबिनार का आयोजन तो मैम के बारे में अगर मैं बताना चाहूँ मैम ने अपना बैचलर गुजरात आयुर्वेद यूनिवर्सिटी यानी गुजरात आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय से प्राप्त किया है उसके बाद मैम को लीजेंडरी मेडिसिनल प्रैक्टिशनर अवार्ड इन आयुर्वेदा इट इज गिवन बाय द वर्ल्ड मीडिया कॉर्पोरेशन यूनाइटेड स्टेट बाई टू सो मैम के बारे में अगर मैं बहुत से बातें करना चाहूँ तो मुझे काफ़ी समय लग जाएगा बिकॉज सी इज द लीजेंडरी प्रैक्टिशनर ऑफ आयुर्वेदा और जो साउथ में एक बहुत अच्छा कार्य कर रही है बेसिकली तमिलनाडु में थ्रू आउट द रस ऑफिया बिकॉज अगर हम बात करें तो जैसे कि हम लोग देखते हैं बेसिकली साउथ में ज़्यादा रस औषधियों का चलन नहीं होता बट जो प्रैक्टिस में है और जो वहाँ के लोगों को जहाँ जैसे मैम काम कर रहे हैं कि कैसे हम लोग रस औषधियों के द्वारा जीर्ण से जीर्ण व्याधियों का ट्रीटमेंट कर सकते हैं इलाज कर सकते हैं तो इसी संदर्भ में आज हमारे मेहमान हैं हमारे आज के व्याख्याकार हैं डॉक्टर जयश्री तो मैं मैम का स्वागत करना चाहता हूं रावत परिवार की तरफ से साथ ही साथ आप लोग सभी लोगों से अनुरोध है कि इस दौरान अगर आपके कोई भी क्वेरीज हो कोई भी क्वेश्चंस हो तो कृपया करके चैट बॉक्स पर आप उस क्वेश्चंस को पूछें और आ, हम उसका आंसर आफ्टर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन में सेशन के बाद देंगे सो आई वेलकम टू डॉक्टर जयश्री फ्रॉम बिहाफ ऑफ द डावर मैम प्लीज yeah thank you so much doctor and thank you dabar for giving me an opportunity to be here and share my views with all of you very good afternoon to all of you so we are today taking up the topic of rasoshadi and um, the question remains that why why first that we need rasoshadi and why should we take so much care to do so much of a promotion for rasoshadi as you very well know right from the beginning that whenever any person comes to ayurveda especially i was i am practicing since about 44 years so in those days if you see you know by the time the patients will come to us they love such a big file and they'll come at the last moment when everybody has shown the door and they'll say doctor i don't have time maybe they have just given me two days and uh, i don't have money i have spent everything but i have hope that you will do something for us at such times what can you really do so that is the time ke hum sab ko itni pareshani hoti ki aise last moment mein aayenge to karenge kya so those are the times when we think of emergency aushadhi or the aushadhi but as far as my experience goes i think it is not so on a day to day basis the aushadhi is so helpful what we have to all remember is throat whenever anyone we walks into our training at least 75% of them would have gone to so many doctors then they come to us so their expectation will be that we do some miracle something that you know immediately gives some kind of a result that is the expectations that they all have so what do you do at such times so this is the answer if you want something then you have to show that you are able to give them some result in say 5 days 15 days at least 21 days if you are not able to show that then they will not have that much hope and they'll keep jumping so to prove that ayurveda even today 
has the same potency that it had so many years back. We have to take up Rasaushadi and that really, really helps us. So let me just go back to the days where, you know, how I got introduced into Rasaushadi and how it helped me to take it up in my life and in my practice. These are uh, going back to the college days. <clears throat> Those days also are uh, Rasaushadi, but fortunately in North, it was not such a big ban, pain. Uh, as much as in South. In South, people do think so many times to go ahead with our socialist. So there, you know, uh, I was, I think, in second year or something, <clears throat> fresh into Ayurveda. And for some reason or other, I caught a very bad cold and cough. And the cough was really a hacking dry cough. So, Vatash cough, uh, uh, cough, if I say now, Vatash cough. But that time it was very bad and it went on for nearly 15 20 days. And I was always a Ayurvedic fanatic. So I refused to take any allopathic medicine. And the whole college knew that I was having cough and they were telling, come on, come on, how long will you last? You'll have to go and take some Ayurvedic medicine. I said, no way. So I waited for 15 days. Then the doctor who was staying next to me, like she was also a student, but my senior, she said, um, uh, you have got so much faith. So I have got a combination. Will you try this combination to see whether you can get rid of the cough? I said, thank you. This is what I have been waiting. So she gave me a combination and you won't believe it. In two days, just two days, my cough disappeared. And I will share the formula with you now. Like she gave me a blood bath in Tamil, she gave me Rajat Pasma, Prabhat Vishti and other things. And within two days and the whole college was like, wow, I better does work. So that was my first impression, first personal experience into that knowing how it works, you know. When you personally see something working, that is when you really feel that, okay, now this is uh, this is our cup of tea kind of thing. Further on, maybe in the fourth year, when um, I was in my fourth year, uh, one of my classmates' sister, uh, even after 14, she had not attained maturity. And uh, after taking a scan and all, they found out that the ovaries had uh, not grown at all. And it was only the size of a crown. It was very small and she was not having uh, any secondary sex characteristics or anything. So at that time, one of our um, senior doctor, that is MD section, one doctor was there. So that Vaidya went ahead and gave a combination which had one the basma as the base. Okay. Uh, this Bangasma works very well in uh, secondary sex characteristics and reproductive hormonal disorders, all that, as you all very well know. And believe it, in one year, the girl got her first Hello. Kid. That is how one Bhasma works. Wow, it's like, uh, these are all the impressions that we carry with us and which gives us that faith that, okay, Depending on the time, depending on the problem, but we are able to get success. So that was another one thing that really gave a very good uh, impact on my mind. So naturally, all these things come with us as we go ahead and practice. And uh, slowly, as I started, I competed and then got married and came and settled in Chennai. And uh, I'm talking to you all from Chennai. Here, then slowly and steadily, we started introducing Rasaushadi in our practice. My husband also was uh, practicing Ayurveda. So here, uh, let me talk about a few Rasaushadis which has really helped me maximum, okay? And uh, which really gave me a uh, very good hold on the practice and uh, a standing in our city. So Bangvasma, we just went to now and we saw the um, ovary growth. Now let us talk about Swarna Sutshaka Ras. Swarna Sutshaka Ras contains Parat, Gandhag, Tankan, Swarna Basma, Tamra Basma and other things. So basically it works on Pitta and Vata. So I used to use it for lot of uh, different diseases where Pitta was dominant. But those were the beginning days and I will share with you the positive and the negative both which shows the importance of actually uh, diagnosing properly and giving the medicine perfectly. So there was um, so in the Suchakaras gave us excellent result, you know, where the headache was there, especially Pitta's headache, 
or you know wherever there is a ulcer where they have so many years 10 20 years of stomach ulcer pain vomiting in so many such cases uh, blood so checker rest as really helped a lot now one day one man comes to our clinic and he was from abroad so he gave all the details and all and all the details pointed out to pitta vritti so i ended up giving him swarna so checker rest after 21 days i get a mail from him doctor i'm feeling so bad i feel i can you know bury my face under the earth i'm feeling so uh, catastrophic and i'm feeling very much down very much cold and uh, it is something is happening it's not so good yet and that was when i realized i went back i went through the whole history classified then i realized that it is not just sufficient to see whether it is a pitta or vata or only those things we have to do our sampratti perfectly where even the anshans the inner deep core of the problem is taken into account there i realized that when we are analyzing we have to also take into account that which guna of uh, the pitta was bad now i discovered here that he did have indigestion and he had lot of pitta pitta vomiting and everything but his agni was low that is when i realized that i should see that also when agni is low we don't give suvarna suchekaras when pitta is high we are giving but uh, when agni is very low there is digestion is very minimal then don't give suvarna suchekaras that was where i made the mistake and that man had uh, a effect where he found that was his pitta was going lower and that was the lesson i learned that you must go into deep check the reason check the sampratti which is the leading to the disease and give the medicine accordingly this is very important so this also we should definitely register otherwise that was one of the only cases in the beginning of when you know had a really deep problem and uh, then of course uh, we can be change the medicines for him and all that is uh, secondary but this shows the importance of drawing the sampratti correctly analyzing what pitta what what vata what, what guna of vata pitta kapha what is affecting what are the basic characteristics and what we have to address so this was a very good experience and i felt that i have to share this with you now going ahead there was uh, okay let me give you one example here of suvarna suchi kadras which really helped a lot in uh, rakta pitta had used it a lot so the suchi kadras and uh, whenever there has been bleeding excessive bleeding either through you know uh, vomit and spitting or adogata rakta pitta also there to stop the amlatva to stop the um, bleeding also suvarna suchekar says even very good results now let me come to the um, next another one uh, drug swarna bhupati ras now this was another beautiful experience uh, one lady um, she has come from us and uh, this i'm talking about 90s okay 1990s and uh, she had fibromyalgia and she when she was coming her condition was so bad that she came sleeping on three seats she had to book three seats to come all the way from usa but she was from india so you know she had that uh, ayurveda and all those things so she had gone elsewhere she had completed all the treatment and other things when she came to meet us in chennai and uh, it was around 40 days every treatment and other things was over she was not satisfied so we went into the detail of her history and all and that was the um, time when she told that this is this, this treatment has done and i discovered that they have not done basti and uh, the chances of her improving with this thing will be much more if we are able to do it. so i asked her how long you going to stay here she said that my ticket is booked for 7 days i said see 7 days i cannot do a miracle You are able to give me one month because your condition is so severe. Please give me one chance because I am sure that I will be able to help. So 
she was a great faith. Uh, she had great faith in Ayurveda, and she said yes. Uh, and she actually postponed her ticket to 40 days. Now this gave me a chance, and it was a challenge also because I had promised her, and she has given me one more month. So went into uh, research the books and studied fully what it could be that made her condition so bad. She's not able to sit. 10 minutes and she gets tired, she has to lie down. And there the description of fibromyalgia in Ayurveda, according to Ayurveda, went in, saw that it works, it is a vata disorder and I have to treat this fibrous nature of the uh, muscle tissues when they joins to, to hold and keep it in place, it had become so fibrous that it was giving her so much pain and blood. And that time, when I read the Swarna Bhupati's description, they have very beautifully explained that in such a condition, also I made the works. So, along with the Swarna Bhupati's, I started the Panchkarma treatment and gave her Panchkarma for 21 days, along with Basti and other things. And believe it, my faith in the uh, Soshadi went up so many times. In 35 days, she went back uh, after on the 40th day when the was there, sitting in one seat. Now that is something like fabulous. We were so excited and we were so happy that we see something, what we studied, you know, we see. And that is what gives us the maximum happiness when we see that Ayurveda is working. Our faith becomes stronger and stronger. That was really one another very good case. That lady, even now, once in two, three years, she will visit India. She will make it a point. She will come to the clinic, tell me how she is. She is doing perfectly well. And she just comes, just have a general massage and some sessions. We talk and she goes back. So, fibromyalgia is a condition which actually people abroad say there is no remedy at all. But the remedy is there. And after that, through word of mouth, I've got many people who come for that and we are able to get the results again, which once again proves that Ayurveda is really the core way we are able to give very good results provided we use the things in the proper way. This was again one very good case that I think I, will tell you, I wanted to share with you. Going on to another point, let us talk about Lakshmi Vilas Ras. Now, there are many cases where uh, people come to you, they have sinus rights from English. There are uh, people who have got snoring. Now, the latest uh, fad is that they have to have the sleep apnea, so they use a machine and uh, go undergo all the trauma of sleeping with those things on and all. Uh, and uh, the snoring sound is so much that it disturbs other people. Not only that, chronic sinusitis with headache, all these things. My observation here is, whenever there is a Urdhva Jadroga Thiroga, there I am able to find that Mahalakshmi Vilas was a wonderful job. So, whenever there is a block anywhere, there is a lot of phlegm and uh, you get uh, all, whether it is water, whether it is sinus, whether it is uh, cough, cold, cough the fever, then there is excessive itching also. Here also I have seen that Mahalakshmi Vilas does, uh, does a wonderful job. So I got a, a lot of results in Mahalakshmi and all. And later on, after uh, maybe a few years, one case came to me which was really uh, very tough to diagnose, to analyze and to know what to give. That man's voice had gone. And actually, he was a pandit who used to tell shlokas every day. So he was in great tears and uh, the voice was not coming out. And I could make out that the phlegm was really very dominant in his condition. And uh, lungs did not show that much of a uh, accumulation of phlegm or something, but there was something wrong in the throat and in the upper uh, region. So after a uh, lot of, you know, analysis and stuff like that, we decided that uh, MLB has been told, Mahalakshmi Vilasras has been told for Urdhva Jatruga, so let us go ahead with that. So we went ahead with Mahalakshmi Vilasras and some Nasya drops and all that, uh, Kapha, Hara. 
and I think I also gave him, I don't remember correctly, but I also gave him bacha with honey and all these things. And he was able to come out. It took him about two and a half months to come out of that particular condition, but he brought his voice back. That was another case where he had gone to a lot of places, he had come so depressed and uh, he was able to get his voice back. So, in any of such Urdhva Jatruga Trogas, you can trust Mahalakshmi Vilasras and use it to your advantage. It really helps a lot. That, uh, that is another thing that I would like to share out of the so many experiences. That also is one thing that I would like to share with you. Um, one more case where uh, Rasav Shati has helped me is where I use Mrugankaras. Now Mrugankaras is a uh, awesome medicine and in Mrugankaras I discovered that it can do miracles in so many things. One girl, she was only I think uh, 30, 34 years or something like that and her left lower lung region was out. So they had uh, said that there is only one way. She used to have a lot of uh, blood vomiting, cough, cough, cough. And she was very, very lean. Her weight was only around 36 or 38 kgs at that time. So they were not able to operate. And that's the time they approached us that you have to somehow help. Every day she's vomiting bread and she's going down in weight every day. So please do something. And that was the time I tried Mrugankaras. Beautifully worked. In 45 days, we were able to see that the bleeding had stopped, uh, kapha with uh, blood in it had stopped, the color of the phlegm had changed and she started having less of uh, uh, all this uh, cough and cold and other things. She started eating properly and in about, it took me no doubt, it took six months to get her back and even now she comes and visits. She is fine. She does not have any problem. She is living with the same condition without any uh, issues. The lung was not operated, but she is not having any signs or symptoms. Kapha has totally vanished. If she turns up, she comes with her sister and mother. And I was very happy to see that even after like, I think 14, 15 years, uh, she is doing absolutely well. That is the miracle of Mridhanta. So that gave a little bit of hope. I understood that Vagantras is doing such a beautiful job. So, you know, you start getting the confidence of using that medicine for so many things. I got a case of uh, autoimmune disease where unfortunately it was the final stages when they, uh, they called us. And um, he had come to a condition where he, all his entire body was, uh, he was totally brain ridden. Even the left hand, which was little working, that also had stopped. And his mother used to feed him at home. And um, what happened, there was so much of phlegm in the throat, so much of phlegm, that, you know, uh, when she was feeding, the phlegm used to come out. It used to be like, you know, strings, watery, totally choking. And he used to breathe very difficulty, and she used to take about 10 minutes to remove. It was so sticky. And that was the time she had called us. So at that time, again Rogan Karas came to help her. At that time, along with Rogan Karas, we used Trikatu and uh, I also remember using that also because of the throat. And uh, it took about six to seven days, but he was able to start eating again without problem. And uh, the phlegm came down, where we expected only a day or two of survival. Now he is still there. Of course, he is immobile, no doubt about it. But the phlegm and the critical condition that the boy went through, he was out of it. That is the miracle of Ankaras. Again, another beautiful example of how Rasha Shadi's work. Now, once again, the same thing okay, uh, was uh, solidified that yes, it gives very good result. And we also discovered that. In oxygen, when people are suffering from lack of oxygen, Rugankaras was giving a very good result. Uh, I remember a patient walking into the clinic that time. It was the first time that a patient walked in with a big cylinder. She was around, I think, 40 years. And uh, she came into the clinic dragging the cylinder around with her. 
she had been discharged from hospital. She they have told her that uh, see lifelong you have to be on oxygen. There is no there. So now as per the latest trend, they are given the oxygen cylinder at home. So she was saying, I don't want to live a life with all these things. Somehow or other, you have to get me out of this situation. For me also, it was the first time I've never experimented or ever thought of using or how to withdraw them from the oxygen. But the lady was so you know, emotional and saying, whatever happens, please help us out. I know that we will be able to do something, but I don't want to live our life like this. So there, again, we gave you a us along with the other uh, uh, medicines for this one. And really to my surprise also, I was not expecting that much of a result. Slowly and steadily, we were able to reduce the quantum of what she was using. And in about 48 to 50 days, she was out of that. Only at night, uh, uh, only at night alone, uh, she used to use the oxygen for some time and then she got out of it. And we told that for about, uh, you know, uh, you have to take for at least six months and all. But you know, she was so overconfident. In three months, uh, she stopped the medicine. Now that was the time flood had come to Chennai. So in the flood, what happened? Again, she was exposed to cold and also again she went in for a uh, severe attack and she had to again go for the cylinder. Again, she came and we had to put up for a three months or something. Now she is back to normal. So, Rudankaras definitely works where we have to give them support, where we are able to wean them out of oxygen in case of necessity. This is another uh, very nice case which I felt I can share it with you. Now, coming to maybe one more uh, experience. Um, Generally, I like taking up the cases of special kids. So, in special kids, uh, Kumar Kalyangras, as the name suggests, does wonders. Uh, of course, according to the other signs and symptoms, we do adjuvants along with that. But uh, Kumar Kalyangras has not failed to help in special conditions. I can share uh, quite a few cases here. Let me take one which was very recent. The uh, child was born and the moment he was born, uh, he had this myasthenia gravis and uh, they had to put tube in the nose and mouth and they have kept him in ICU and uh, he was not able to come out of the situation. And uh, the mother knew us through a common friend. So she very much wanted to bring the kid here. But you know, in ICU and all, we are not allowed to go anywhere near. So I said, the day they discharge the child, we will start the treatment and I am very sure we will be able to get some very good results. Now, this is the time what happened was, it took them nearly, they uh, eliminated all the things and all. And they came up with the answer saying, there is a genetic problem with the child and because of which the child is going uh, into lot of difficulties and there is no question of survival so probably if you are okay you can give the child we will do some experimentation test and all the mother said no i have faith in ayurveda it is going for that so she came here directly getting discharged against the doctor's advice and she came to our clinic now here again i used to mark the and uh, to tell you in seven days we were able to remove the child from the tube, we started drinking the mother's milk. And uh, then the progress was very slow because in all the ways the baby was behind schedule by nearly four months and all. Now it is 11 months and I am very, very happy to say that the child is able to crawl on his knee and uh, first time he is holding the sofa and standing. Uh, he has started making sound with his mouth, he is able to communicate. He laughs, smiles, hold, uh, holds things. Initially, there was some issue with uh, the sight and holding things, but now he's able to hold. So that was another very good thing. But Kumar Kalyandras, I assure you, doctors, for any special kid, you see the dosage that has to be given according to the kid's age, but it gives really wonderful support for the development of the child, mental, physical. Adjuvants can be given accordingly when there is more of mental issues. There will always be when special kids are there. 
you can add on jinnaka you can add on brahmi all these combinations along with it definitely go but the base i'm very sure was kumarta yangras which has given such a good success so i definitely feel that all of you can go through with this particular uh, medicine try it in your clinic and we will only share with all of us then you know we'll have a database saying yes this medicine is work so these are the basic things i thought instead of see all of you have already gone and read all the shastra books and other things but there is nothing like seeing with our own eyes which gives us the calm confidence of practicing in uh, rasa shastras and that's why i'm just trying to share a few uh, things sir let me say first drug of choice whenever anybody comes with vata disorders now you all know almost 70% of all ayurvedic practitioners have this particular uh, flow of all vata disorders right from one end of parkinsonism and another end of paralysis so you see all the things especially the degenerations of the bones the sciatic the, the accident cases where uh, there is a very bad issue with them due to the stand up the abetted and like you get right from the lowest to the highest case and this i think uh, all of us have that uh, 70% to 80% of the uh, crowd from the bone segment so here when inflammation matters when pain is so severe uh, when mobility becomes a issue swarna guru has been one of the biggest support and uh, i of course i use the uh, dabar so i had once had this opportunity to go to dabar and see their facility so you know they have got this equipments where they see that the product is uh, 100% pure and also even see all doctors will have in mind about the purity of the product what to use and what and so in our hospital whenever we are giving any rasaushati or any medicine for that say we always give it sealed packed and labeled so we are sure that no such contamination or nothing whatsoever can bother the patients because of what we are doing and touch it for the past 44 years that i am practicing i have never had a problem where i had to tackle the side effect of any rasaushati i pray to god that that continues but i wish that all of you doctors too if you are able to practice and bring this into the main forum and i'm very sure that uh, today what the world recognizes will triple four times more as we all know that uh, today nanotechnology is trying to raise its head right and we all know that the reduction of particles increase the solubility and hence the bioavailability and vasmikaran is expected to reduce the size of the metal oxide particles enhancing their bioavailability and bioactivity in modern science now they have demonstrated that enhanced bioavailability of nano particles from is there so now they are looking back to our ancient texts and saying oh this is what they were talking about bhasma so it is really such a big pleasure to know that the world is now looking at our text as a base for their nanotechnology it may be suggested that basmas contain sub micronic particles nano particles of metal oxide which is prepared very well we get such good effective agents to do the job people used to worry about the harmful effects but if we if the preparation is good and uh, uh, caution is taken in uh, the method of preparation then the use of nano particles metals in therapeutic can become a very common practice and uh, definitely it will take a leading role in uh, curing all the diseases basma literally means ash and this is unique to the ayurvedic herb mineral metallic compounds in the size of nano dimensions and the shastra has always been giving this to us as a it is it is given as a gift to the mankind and uh, i hope that they will be able to come and bring this out into the light into the world whether it in the name of nano particles or whether in the name of basmas we will be able to get very good results in the healing sector 
when it, a particle becomes a basma, it becomes biocompatible, it becomes bioassimilable, it is absorbable, and it is in a sustainable, sustainable form for the human body. So, I definitely hope that we will have improved stability, functionable, uh, functionality, absorption, assimilation, bioavailability, biocompatibility, targeted delivery of the ingredients, effectiveness, and now that it is noteworthy that Ayurvedic Basma is considered very safe and very economic uh, compared to contemporary metal-based and normal medicines. So this is something that uh, I really celebrate, knowing that I was able to see this era where people are recognizing the importance of Ayurveda and the Ayurvedic Basmas. So that is uh, very nice. Similarly, uh, we can keep talking about a lot of things that are a lot of customers and other things. But basically, um, this is what I wanted to share with all of you and uh, encourage you people to take up resources because if you want to show your effectiveness to the world and I way that will come out into life, then definitely resources is the answer. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for, so ma for this knowledgeable session. I hope people will get a lot of benefit from this session and the rest of you. In Dabar, we are promising that we, uh, we maintain the, all the standards of Asma. So, from the starting to the raw material sterilization and end product uh, you know, manufacturing, we follow the entire protocols we follow every uh, you know analytical uh, uh, investigations rather than and all the uh, investigations related to the formulation and related to the quality so we maintain the entire quality of our customers uh, throughout the raw material to the end of the end product uh, manufacturing so i'm um, again thank you uh, of this valuable session today. I hope you both say long the doubts clear way on the towards the using of uh, you know uh case I'm up in a day-to-day life may practice as you have uh social yunka uh youth cars at the so I hope both along the doubt clear when the session because and in future we also uh we are organizing such type of session with you ma'am because after your knowledge, uh, this is uh, so, uh, this is very uh, effective for the uh, you know younger Ayurveda practitioners. Jinko uh, abhi like we both say, apni day to day practice in life way, kafi patients dekne hain and kaise wo in hamari Ayurvedic oxygen ka especially the rasa oxygen ka use kar sakte hain from diseases mein. Because people ko thoda scared, the people are scared towards to using the batmas or due to some negativity of uh, people. Ke inke karan uh, apka liver damage ho sakta hai and uh, apke kidney may be problem ho sakte hai because the batma cannot be assimilated. So I'm clearing that that uh, if agar apne batma preparation proper sastro kam se kiya hai, right? And after Sare stimulation uh, proper hai. so koi bhi phasma aapke liye uh, harmful nahi hoga. Agar aapka phasma apakwa hai, properly bana nahi hai, effective nahi hai, to uske vishakti gun aapko dikh sakte hai. But uske karan aapko koi itni chronic bimariya ya aisi koi disease ho ye possible nahi hai. So in Dabar hum achhoti dete hai, to just every phasma ki hum uske standards ke saath properly work out karte hai. So that raw material standardization se later, uske manufacturing process se later, usme proper kitne photo ki agni deni hai, kitna uska hume uh, sadharan shodhan, vishesh shodhan and other shodhan jo humare classical text ke accordingly hai, hum sara kuch use karte hai. Then uske baad bhi jab humari phasma ban bhi jati hai, so that will go throughout our analytical department and wahan pe bhi uska proper analysis hota hai to the TCA, TLC, FPLC and all that. So, end of the day, we're getting a very good product in market. So, I give the authority about that. We, uh, we are giving, uh, you know, a proper, uh, authentic customer. 
सो आई होप आज के सेशन में लोगों को काफी ज्ञान प्राप्त हुआ होगा आपके वैल्यूबल नॉलेज का आपके क्लिनिकल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपीरियंसेस का सो so, मैं आपका अगेन धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूँ डाबर परिवार की तरफ से मैं थैंक यू बोलना चाहूँगा इंडियन वेडियस को उनके प्लेटफॉर्म के लिए एंड थैंक यू अगेन मैम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर वंडरफुल सेशन थैंक यू सो मच एंड वी विल यू फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेशन सो थैंक यू मैम एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू स्वर्ण प्राशन में भी काफी अच्छा आर्टिकल है एंड काफी अच्छा बेनिफिट आपने स्वर्ण प्राशन के लिए